across the city of Rutland, signs and supporters stand in the snow to show their support for the man they want to sit at the mayor's desk. When I got here two years ago, the city was very divided. Um, we were talking about refugee issues. We were uh, a great division up at the fire department. There was a lot of issues that needed addressing. Incumbent David Allaire is seeking his second term. He hopes the work he's done so far will convince voters to give him another two years at the helm of City Hall. I used to joke about with Dave when he'd come in, I'd be like, oh, here comes the mayor because I thought he should be mayor. Terry Morton is a local business owner and has supported the mayor since he first ran in 2017. He says one way Allaire has improved the city since taking office is funding repairs to State Route 7. Dave used city money to make it right. It's the entrance of our city. Raise my property tax, but let me see something for it. Improving Rutland's infrastructure is also important for Estorina Bergendahl, but she thinks it's time for a change in leadership. We're like that little engine, that little train that could. We can make it up that track and continue on and make Rutland a better place and get it back on track. She's supporting Michelle Messier, a longtime veteran of the utility industry who wants to put a focus on cutting taxes and making the city an attractive place for the 21st century workforce. We can bring in really high speed internet here, 5G and beyond, that people can telecommunicate, work around the world, work internationally, and then have Rutland as their home. And each candidate is working to make their final pitch to voters before they head to the polls. Seeing if we can lower taxes, because I believe there's ways that we can and lower taxes and find some efficiencies within the city of Rutland. I think that right now stability and um, and um, maintaining uh, our forward movement is just critical uh, for getting things done. In Rutland, Ross Ketchke, NBC5 News.